So we're going to talk real quick on this optic right here. This is from Monstrum Tactical, and they sent me this to check out. Uh, this is the Raven 3x32. This is kind of an entry-level prism optic. So it's a 3x32 prism optic. It has the black etched circle dot reticle. So you have a dot with a circle around it. Just kind of think about very similar to like an EOTech reticle and whatnot, and you'll get what I mean. So in fact, I'll even right here... What I'll do to make this easy is there's the reticle you see on the piece of paper. And instead of me reading off all of the technical specs, there it is right there. So you can stop the video, check it out, read at your leisure. So this optic, uh, it's, it's pretty budget priced. It's not extremely expensive, which I like. And even though it's not the lightest optic out there, it does balance well. This is a 7.5 inch pistol that I have on, that I have this on, and it seems to balance pretty good. It does have a little bit of bulk to it, so if you're looking for a super streamlined optical or uh, optic, uh, I'm not sure. You just look, just check it out and see if this is something that works for you. I mean, being five inches long and there's there's a decent amount of mass up here. Uh, again, it's pretty well balanced, but it's not the most streamlined. So the windage and elevation right here. Here's your controls for the uh, brightness levels on your red and green illumination function. Overall fit and finish is pretty good. I have no issues there. I'm just going to flip around and just show you this side of it. Here's your mounting right here, standard two-point mounting. It seems to mount pretty good. Uh, I can't speak to how well this re-zeroes after mounting. And what I mean by that is after you zero it on a rifle, and let's say you take it off for whatever reason, you put it back on, um, I can't speak to how well the zero is going to be. I expect a, with a lot of more budget priced optics, you might get just a little bit of drift, but that's okay. Uh, just kind of keep that in the back of your head. If you get a little bit of drift, uh, you may have to adjust your zero again after you take it off and put it back on. But overall, for the price, for an entry level type option, I'm good to go. I mean, I, that's how I review these things. I don't compare it to an ACOG, I don't do any of that. Uh, Sometimes I will put a video out just for fun doing some sort of comparison, but getting down to the nitty gritty of it and getting serious, I guess, with it, uh, there's really no reason to compare because that's not the market. They didn't make this 3x32 to compete with the ACOG. Okay, you didn't make a 3x32 prism scope to compete with an ACOG 4x32 optic or, or whatnot. It, it's just that's just not how it is. It's marketed in two different areas. So as far as how well it's built, can it handle getting beaten around and whatnot? Yes, it can. Uh, there's a lot of mass to it. I, I do like that. So if you're using it and you're using it outdoors, you don't have to worry about knocking it up against something. I think it'll just be fine. Uh, the turrets are, uh, there is rubber O-rings and they are pretty tight. So you're not going to lose the turret covers and whatnot on here, which I like. As far as... Um, Add-ons to this optic, I'm not seeing, I haven't seen any, there may be some out there, but as far as, you know, anti-reflective devices and stuff like that, I haven't really seen any. Granted, I'll have to look through their website, maybe they do have something and I just didn't notice it. I'd like to see that with these types, I'd like to see something on the front here, like an anti-reflective device or something like that. I really, that's kind of my thing. I like those. Uh, I like to throw them on my optics whenever I can, so that's just me. Uh, overall, check it out. If you're looking to get into the game, the prism game, one thing about the prism scopes is the glass is pretty clear when you look through. It has a decent field of view. You can use two eyes pretty easily. And uh, the eye relief on this is pretty decent. It's not like an ACOG where you got to be right up on it. That's about the only one thing that kind of sucks about an ACOG sometimes is it's really picky on that eye relief. But uh, this one has a pretty generous eye relief, and I haven't had any issues uh, as far as I'm concerned. So anyway, check it out. Uh, if you're looking to get a game, I know these aren't the only guys on the block that's offering these inexpensive prism optics, but check them out. Um, I think this one's pretty solid. And again, it's it's styled a little bit different. It has a little bit more mass, a little bit more bulk to it, but it's still pretty balanced on the gun uh, overall. So if you kind of like the styling, that second type of cool thing, you know, then definitely check them out. I dig it. The very first time I saw it, I'll be honest, I kind of saw it in a catalog and I was like, eh, I don't know. But then after messing with it, I'm like, okay, yeah, I dig it. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's not the, the 
end all be all type optic out there for sure but i kind of dig it it's a little bit different all right thanks a lot for watching as always put your thoughts in the comment section below just wanted to show this to you folks and just so that way gives you another option i know there's tons of stuff out there and i like to throw videos out when i can to just show you guys what's out there so feel free to comment whether good or bad all that good stuff show your support by subscribing you know the whole youtube spiel all right stay safe